uh, last night was a night. I mean, I had fun at Epcot, but then on the way home, I had a reaction. So I'm not feeling very well from that. And so I'm just laying here still in bed with Ellie the Elephant and just gonna take things as easy as possible today because that is all I can do. I am more awake now. Still in bed though. So I took a like washcloth shower just now. Not a shower, but like a wet rag and washed myself down because one of the things I hate is getting into bed dirty, but last night we went to Disney and of course I feel like I need a shower after that, but after a reaction I'm just nauseous, dizzy, weak, mentally foggy and out of it. So it was physically impossible for me to safely take a shower, so I had to come into bed dirty. So this morning when I got up I really needed to do something and I'm still not strong enough to take a shower safely, but the washcloth was, it was, it was adequate. And some dry shampoo helped. Um, still not ready to tackle going down the stairs yet, so just letting my body rest some more. Harlow's being patient with me, but if she was, you know, itching to go outside, I'd just ask Paul to take her out for me. But she's being nice and super patient with me. She's actually still asleep. <laughs> she's probably tired from Epcot too. And um, so basically what had happened last night is uh, we were on the way home and then on the highway I started or this is what happened first, Harlow um, was facing away from me, we were both in the back seat, and then she got up and planted herself on me, which she knows I don't like that, and she never usually does it, so I was like, no, Harlow, off. So she backed off a little, but she wouldn't take her head off me, and then a few minutes later, I got the usual symptoms of the cough and the rash, and I was, I didn't realize it then, but now looking back at it, she, she could definitely tell I was about to have some medical issues, so I'm really proud of her for that, and so Paul pulled way over, onto the side of the road and Paul and Janice gave me my IV Benadryl and IV Zofran because I got really nauseous. I didn't puke in their car, thankfully. And I don't, I guess I didn't come out of it as quick as I usually do. So they kept the EpiPens ready just in case, but the IV Benadryl took care of it. And um, Janice actually took a video of me, I guess a few minutes after the reaction. I don't remember because I fell asleep. So I'm gonna show you the video she took. Don't worry, it looks like I'm knocked out I'm just sleeping because I get so exhausted from these reactions. Plus the Benadryl makes me groggy. So here's that video. Well, Jackie just had a reaction. We had to pull on the side of the road. It wasn't doing so hot. She wasn't doing so hot. So we had to give her the full dose of Benadryl really quick. It was very fast. So now she's just sleeping it off. And then she also had a bad sense of throwing up. So we definitely didn't want her to throw up in our nice cloth car, so we had to give her some Zofran as quick as possible. Did it through her IV, administer all her medications through her IV. So now she is knocked out. But she's doing great. We did everything as fast as we can. We know what we're doing. We're her medical staff. But bye guys. Late night reaction. So there's that. Obviously, after these reactions, I'm exhausted, and the severe ones, it could take me a few days to recover. I get nauseous and dizzy and weak. It's just, my chest hurts, and I get really stressed, too, from these reactions. I just, they stress me out, and so I try and do things that are stress relieving for me, and obviously, I didn't get the vlog up from yesterday on time. It's still not up now. And editing the vlogs is one way that I like to relieve stress. It's a nice hobby of mine. Just sitting with my headphones on and editing on the computer is a really nice way for me to relieve stress. I enjoy it. And it doesn't even take a lot of mental capacity for me to do it because I know the software really well. So I'm looking forward to doing that later today when I'm feeling a little better. And I hope you all understand why the vlog was up late. I'm sure you do. Uh, Judd, my boyfriend, is my main caretaker and he's away with the Army National Guard for training for two weeks and I do really miss him and then when I have these scary moments it makes the missing him even worse but thankfully I get to see him not tomorrow but the day after Saturday and his leadership said they want to release them really really early but if y'all have any experience with the military you know things can always change and it's just a bunch of hurry up and wait so we'll see 
but I will see him on Saturday. He, he's done on Saturday. I'm so happy. And I'm also so thankful to have amazing friends like Paul and Janice who are willing to take me into their home and care for me and their family. I love them so much. They're awesome. So I'm just going to wait till I'm feeling a little better and then I'll take Har out and um, get working on the vlog and just rest all day because that's all I can do. I made it downstairs and the vlog from yesterday has been edited. I enjoyed doing that. So it's loading now and I'm going to upload it. Janice is here. She did a, you did a live this morning, right? About raw feeding on Orion's account. And I think the dogs, yep, over there playing. So we're just having a pretty chill morning. It's also infusion day and in the commotion of just the reaction and everything last night, I forgot and Han Janice forgot and it, we didn't set them out to because they're stored in the fridge and they got to reach room temperature. So Janice put them on a heater or something. Yeah, and kind got, of. She, they're perfect at room temperature. And uh, so I'm going to go hook up to this right after this is done loading. It's like Jackie expects me to know her period cycle. She expects Shut me up. to know her infusion cycle. It's just Tuesday, <laughs> Thursday, and the day out of the weekend. Don't remember this. <laughs> Well, I am all hooked up to my infusion, got it going. This is for my postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, and I got a few phone calls. Uh, you know, insurance is no longer providing my IV intravenous Zofran for my nausea and vomiting due to my gastroparesis mainly. We put it through my port, and it's very helpful, like in my reaction last night. Um, but my POTS doctor put in for IV Phenergan, another type of anti-nausea med, that got approved. It's coming with my usual shipment of uh, pot, uh, my infusion supplies and port care supplies on Monday. On Tuesday, a nurse from my home health company is coming to show us how to do that medication because I've never given myself IV Phenergan. And so all that worked out, so check one thing taken care of. And then as for the IVIG update, um, the home health company aspect is getting taken care of. They're just uh, waiting for insurance approval now, but my doctor doesn't want me to get my first infusion at home. He wants me to do it inpatient at a hospital and he doesn't have privileges at my local hospitals. He's in a city like three hours away from me, so I'm not going to his hospital to do it. That's just too much traveling. Um, so I'm having one of my local doctors facilitate it, work with my geneticist to get the IVIG inpatient done because they have privileges at my local hospital. I'm trying to work with my pulmonologist to do it, but if he's not comfortable doing it, I'm seeing my primary care doctor, my local one, on Tuesday of next week, so I'm sure maybe she'll be more open to doing it, or I don't know, I'm just going to talk to my doctors and see who will help facilitate it, so making slow progress with the IVIG too, so there are some updates for you. I want the ball. So Harlow's doing really well on the raw diet. Tonight we're going to incorporate other types of organ other than liver and she's going to start getting some real bones. This is a pig's foot. It's a soft bone and she's had it before and she's done super well on it. Good girl. And she's just going to eat that peacefully. So while your dogs are eating a bone, you don't want them to be disturbed. So I actually put Orion and Yori on the other side of the gate because you want them to just be at peace because if they feel like they're pressured or someone's going to take it away from them or you're like hovering over them, they're going to eat it quickly and that could My get dog. dangerous. Yeah, Orion scarfs it down sometimes. So Harlow eats the bone very slowly and peacefully and I just give it to her and back off and I don't do anything to make her want to eat it quickly. So that is the safest way to do it. And she's had this bone before. It's a softer bone and she's perfectly fine with it. Cooking. Yeah, it's amazing. Vegetables, yeah, yeah, yeah. Veggies, rice, rice and this amazing yeah. chicken. It smells so good. The food is amazing. This chicken is to die for. Janice, we need the link. Never. <laughs> and we're gonna watch Once Upon a Time. Well, Jackie's here in the hospital. She had a bad reaction, really bad. We did the IV Benadryl, and then 
two EpiPens. My first time hitting her in the leg. I don't think I did a great job because she, she had a lot of blood coming out. So I think I did a bad job, but she'll tell me later. And once again, I'm eating again. <laughs> Stress chocolate. I'm a lot more coherent now that yeah. I've got all my mess. Where's the protocol paper? Oh. It's over here. Right. Paul's going to show you the because. protocol paper. I have a paper with my protocols. That's my medicine list. All my medications. List. This is my anaphylaxis protocol list. Yes. And the doctor said it was very helpful. So I'm doing a lot better with all those meds. And I'm on oxygen. And mm hmm mask because there's lots of germs in the hospital yeah she's still scratching so she's still being watched and they need to see how she does but we had a little bit of a scare but she's doing great hallelujah i'm doing better just feeling really sleepy here but i'm sure these people are all so tired it's pretty late uh, I got my cocktail, so I had an anaphylaxis protocol my doctor made for me, and I gave it, or Janice gave it to the staff, and that helped a lot. So now I'm just under observation and hopefully go home, but they said no promises yet, so we'll see. Really promises thankful. Were made. I'm really thankful for my friends. Um, yeah, so we kind of just left the house in a mad dash. We didn't grab my mask. And because of my immunodeficiency, I gotta wear this one, especially in the hospital with lots of germs. We also didn't bring the dogs. They are home, annoying Janice's mom. Who has allergies. Yeah, her so mom has bad may allergies. May she rest in pieces. <laughs> so, I'm doing much better after that cocktail. I was in pretty bad shape. Um, I actually had to do two uppies, but... Oxygen stats are looking better. And I'm feeling better, just totally wiped out and dizzy. So just seeing how, where things will go from here. Well, I, the doctor came in and saw I was still having rashes on my chest, arms and stomach that were coming and going. So that means my body is still actively having a reaction, but the two doses of Epi and the IV cocktail they gave me are helping to combat the reaction so it's not progressing but I'm still actively having one so the doctor said they're gonna have to admit me for the night and I just shit <laughs> I did not think I was gonna get admitted sassy hashtag sassy, sassy. Jackie <laughs> so that's my bracelet there anyways um I really didn't think I was gonna get admitted kind of sucks but they were gonna keep me safe Paul and Janice and Judd I spoke with Judd on the phone um feel more comfortable with me being admitted. Yeah. And uh, Paul's gonna run home and grab a few things for me that I need, but we have my hospital go bag right there, the pink one. I'm just missing a few things, like my phone charger and some deodorant, that's important. They also have an immunodeficiency protocol here in this hospital, so they're gonna put me supposedly in a private room to keep me away from people who could potentially get me really sick and if I'm in a private room I'll feel more comfortable not having a mask on Kim all the time. Style. What do you mean Kim Kardashian style? Get your own private room. Oh my gosh. Alright. I'm feeling obviously rather exhausted from that reaction. It's been a few hours now so hopefully we can get a room soon and we can all get to sleep and I will update y'all more tomorrow. The pups are at home and I'll see her tomorrow. So thank you for joining us on this adventure, y'all. I will update more tomorrow. Bye.